Hey guys, welcome back to another art book video. This week we're going to be looking at manga, the ultimate guide to mastering digital painting techniques. So you can see it's quite a nice cover. It's got a little bit of gold to it as well, that's pretty cool. It's quite a small book compared to some. And there's the back. Let's get straight into this. It's quite a, um, quite a thick book actually, so I'm not sure how many of the pages we'll actually be able to show on camera. And this is an Imagine FX book. Let me get that central. So I'd like to leave the contents on screen for those who want to pause it, but there is. But let's have a quick read because it doesn't look like there's too many sections. Manga gallery, manga for beginners, character creation, manga style, fantasy and sci-fi, and comic panels. Personally, I'm not huge on comics anyway, but the other things listed seemed quite relevant to me, quite interesting. Manga is a style I never used to be bothered about, but... The more I draw and the more I follow new artists online and social media and things like that, I find myself quite interested in it and finding that it's quite, well, it, it looks quite fun to draw, to be honest. So I do have some manga pieces. Apologies, by the way, I'm trying to call it manga. I am told that's the right way to pronounce it. In a lot of my older videos, I used to call it manga and I got corrected quite a lot. I think that's pretty cool. I always like fantasy style ones. But yeah, so if I pronounce it wrong throughout, you have been warned. So I'm not as big on the sort of chibi characters, the sort of smaller, huge eyes manga characters. But some people do pull them off. And I think that's one of the reasons why books like this are quite good. Because not only does it show, you know, different tutorials from different artists. Oh, that's she's a really well-known artist, by the way. A lot of you will be familiar with her work. I wouldn't have known to call her work manga, but that's pretty cool. But yeah, um, not only does it have tutorials from different artists, so you're going to get different takes on it anyway, and a different look, but they are all very different styles, as mentioned. And I think that that's a really important feature to have in a book like this, because I find personally that there are some manga styles or some artist work that I'm not a particular big fan of. And then I find some others that work with manga, and it just looks completely different, and I absolutely love it, so... I think it's quite important and really good, quite a good selling point for the book to have a range of styles. I actually bought this quite a while ago, like a lot of my books, but I've never really gone through it. I think I flicked through it when I first got it and I remember thinking it looked really good. And looking at it now, I definitely think it looks really good. And this is the section I was referring to earlier. This doesn't look like it would really be classed as manga, but it might be taking that and developing it into a manga style. Or maybe that is classed as a manga style, I'm not sure. I guess everyone has a slightly different interpretation of it. I am skipping a couple of pages at once. It's quite a thick book as mentioned, so I don't want to show every page on camera. I think as an artist it's quite a nice book to own. It's definitely an interesting one. You could probably pick up some techniques from the tutorials even if you weren't into manga at all, but realistically you'd probably go for other books first because I always find you know you want to have an interest uh, you want to enjoy the artwork in the book otherwise you're not going to be as motivated it's not going to be as much of an enjoyable read I guess I think we all know that quite often manga happens to be stereotypical um, busty pinup girls so I know it's not for everyone I know there is more to it than that but you know you can tell from this book there is going to be a lot of that in, involved as well. Some of you might know I used to draw a lot of pinups. I haven't had a chance recently, but I do like pinups. So again, for me, that's no problem. That's a really good feature to have. I believe that most of it is working digitally, but I haven't gone through it properly to actually check. You guys will have seen more than me um, at this point on the camera because you can pause it and take a more detailed look. And I've just noticed that my camera is a little bit out of focus. I'm hoping it's only just done that and that it hasn't been blurry for ages. Otherwise, this video is not going to be too good. I, I apologise if it has been out of focus. So it looks like we're coming towards the end of the book. So we're probably coming towards the comic creation bit. I would imagine this will be good for all comic book artists. Again, even if you're not a fan of manga. I always confuse manga and anime with one another, but I think one of them is literally animation 
and one is the comic. So although I don't read the comics or anything like that, I can still enjoy the artwork. I like it in books when it does mention about gathering reference as well. I don't know if there's much else in this book about it, but it's nice to see that there. So let's flick through these last pages a little bit quicker. Oh, we're coming up to the comic book panel. I'll try to include some of this for those that are interested. So I'm really hoping that a lot of this video wasn't blurry and out of focus without me realising. It looks like the comic book section is actually quite a small section compared to the rest of it. It's very small in comparison, actually. And the total pages of the book uh, looks like we're on about just short of 210. So there you have it. And I will put a link in the description box below where I got the book from. Hopefully this book video gave you enough of a look to decide whether you want to buy the book or not. Personally, I think as long as you are a manga fan and like collecting art books or like to learn from them, then this is a really good book to have. Some really well-known artists in it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. Let me know what other books you guys are reading at the moment. And as always, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, everyone.